Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we're going to get to the fun part of making apps which is making a bit of money. So iAd is unfortunately dead, that was Apple all ad service. So in this video we're instead going to take a look at AdMob slash Firebase. So in this video we're going to take a look at how you can create and set up an ad with AdMob and then how you can display that ad and show that ad in your app in order to make some money. So that's really all there is to it. And as you will see, it's a very simple process from ad creation to actually having an ad in your app. So let's take a look at how we are going to do this. So let's open up our web browser and go to firebase.google.com. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the console and we're going to do exactly like we're used to doing. We're used to creating a new project. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. Also, no need to change that. And I'm just going to call this add money or I'm going to add money with a small a and O just like that. And I'm just going to copy it United States and I'm going to create this awesome project. So the project was created and we're now inside it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down and click on AdMob. Now, if it's your first time using AdMob, which is probably is because you're watching this video, uh, then you will have to set up AdMobs for AdMob first. And there will be a link to that right here. But since I've already set it up, I'm going to open a new page and I'm going to type in AdMob.com. And this will take you over to the AdMob side and you're just going to sign in here also with the same Google account. Just going to sign in here and then I am going to click on monetize new app. And here you can do two things so you, or three things really. You can search for your app or you can add your app manually or select from apps you have already added. But we are just going to add our app manually. And our app name is going to be add money. I always make a capital O add money. There we go. Platform iOS. And I'm just going to click on add app. Then I'm going to select the format that I want to use. And I'm just going to, as you can see, you can choose between four different types, banner, interstitial, rewarded video and native. And you're probably seeing all of this, at least rewarded video where you can get this, uh, a reward by watching an ad video. But in this video, we're just going to go with a plain and simple banner ad, which is the usual one. Then we are going to make this a text and an image banner, banner ad. Text ad style you can choose. I'm just going to make it standard and add unit name, add money uh, ad. And I want to save this. And here you can connect it up to your Firebase analytics. Now, I'm just quickly going to show you how to do this. You just click on link to Firebase and then we have to create our Xcode project in order to get this code. So we're just going to open up Xcode, double tap on create new Xcode project, make it a single view application. And I'm going to call it add money, click on next, and then I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to copy the bundle identifier right here. Head back over to my AdMob site, paste it in, click on continue. And then I can select the project that I want to connect it up with. Now we just created one in Firebase. So we can select it by just clicking add money. Then click on continue. And then we will soon be done with things that we have to do on this side. We just have to download two things which is our SDK in order to get everything properly set up in our Xcode project. Just make sure that you download that by clicking this zip file. And then one more thing that we're going to need, and that is our configuration file. Uh, it says something else in English, of course, but just click on number three and I believe you will be good to go and download the same file that I just did. So now we have our SDK. And now we are looking for our plist file, which just got downloaded. Else you can click on this button right here, but I believe it just downloaded. Yes, it did. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is I am, or we are going to open up this folder right here. And then you can see we have a framework here. So just 
click that, select that, and then drag it over to our Xcode project, drop it right there, and make sure that you select copy items if needed so that we can move our project without that creating any trouble. Click on finish. And then we're also going to access our download folder in order to uh, take this one, Google service slash info plist file. And we're going to drag and drop that right under our normal info plist file. Copy items if needed again. And then just make sure that you remove any uh, extension like one two three four so that it's called exactly google service slash info dot plist if that is the case you have pretty much set everything up could not be saved the file has been changed to another application let's see save anyway and now we can put this in full screen and head over to our main dot storyboard and here we are or i am actually going to use an iphone se and the only reason for that is that the default banner ad uh, fits very nicely on a 5 or SE display. So I'm just going to search up the view and I'm going to drag it in. Let's see if I find it right here. And this view has to be a certain dimension depending on which banner size you want. So if we now open up our browser again, let's see, I can search for AdMob banner sizes and then we will get an overview of the different banner sizes that you can choose between so here we have the supported ad formats which is 320 by 50 320 by 100 and you, as you can see this one is more or less the standard banner this is a default banner so that's one that's the one we're going to use so i'm just going to copy this or actually I don't need to copy it. I just need to type in 320 by 50, which is going to be our ad size. And I'm going to make this ad display at the bottom of the view. And I'm just going to place a few constraints here. Make sure that you keep the width and the height because that's essential. Then I'm going to have zero points to the bottom and then I'm just going to center it horizontally in the container. And that should work brilliantly. Now, we also have to do one more thing with this view and we have to choose the class and this is going to be a GAD banner view. So Google add banner view. So just select that and then we can bring up our view controller file and then we are just going to drag it in. So control drag and connect it up as an outlet. I'm just going to call this my banner, connect it up. And then we have to import something right here and that is going to be our Google mobile ads. So import Google mobile ads. And then we also have to add the delegate here so our view controller can become responsible for this uh, banner ad. In order to do that, we simply say get banner view delegate. So that should work fine and smoothly now. And then we are going to, first of all, set up a request. So this is the request that we are going to fire uh, in order to get an ad for our view. And the way we set this up is very simple. We simply say that request is equal to GAD request. And then we say request dot test device. So in order to be able to run this on test devices, I have to add the KGAD, let's see, simulator ID. So this will just allow us to run our ads on the simulator. And um, then we have to set up that, set up ad. And the way we do that is actually also pretty simple. We simply say my banner dot uh, add unit ID. So now we have to get our ID for the ad unit. And the way we do that is we head over to AdMob again and we will have our ad unit right here. If you don't see your ad unit right there, you can just click on monetize and then we you can click on your app. So add money and then you will have your ad uh, ID here also. So I'm just going to copy this one and then paste that in as a string and set that as our ad unit ID. And then we have to also add the delegate. So my banner dot 
root view controller is equal to self and then I'm going to add delegate my banner dot delegate is equal to self just making the view controller responsible here for the add unit so that it all works properly and then all we have to do now is we have to load our request that we named request and this is really everything we have to do in order to set up our ad so let's try to run this now on an iphone se which i built it in and of course if you're going to uh, launch this in an iphone 7 you can choose between all of the ad formats that we took a look at right here to see which one fits the best but um the amount of money that you earn can depend on uh, the banner size that you choose and also if it's a purely a text uh, ad or an image ad because uh, advertisers bid differently for each format and each um, each uh, text and image ad so which type it is and which dimension it has so you can potentially earn more money for if you choose a standard banner than if you for example would choose a IAB leaderboard banner so that's just something to keep in mind the more standard you are uh, the more money you can potentially earn because there's greater demand for them because most design their app their ads in a standard way so this that's just something to keep in mind there uh, so here I've launched my app and as you can see there I have my ad nice job you're displaying a 320 by 50 test ad from AdMob now of course it won't display like this when you have um, uploaded it to the App Store but uh, because then it will of course be changed out with a real ad but this is how you set up a ad with AdMob hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure that you click the subscribe button down below and then I will see you back in the next video thank you for watching